Hello, class, and welcome to another interesting episode of Viva Barca, the home of everything Barca. In this episode, we are going to be discussing on some two interesting stories. I want us to start with Sergio Roberto, who have just hinted on the possibility of his contract renewal. And he was talking about how him and President Juan Laporta have been discussing a lot these days. And of course, there's a great possibility of him renewing his contract anytime from now. We are going to be discussing much more on that. Then to conclude, we are going to be discussing on something very great when it comes to our female team, talking about the Barcelona Femini. As five of those players, five of them have been nominated for the Ballon d'Or. You know, the list came out yesterday. So we are going to be discussing on that as well. So guys, as we get ready to discuss those stories in much detail, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, give this video a like and make sure to watch this video right up to the very end. Sergio Roberto has come out to make a statement regarding his contractual situation at Barcelona, saying that he is optimistic that a deal can be reached on his renewal. Going by his own word, I am as optimistic as the president and I both think that, you know, I will renew my contract soon. He told Catalan News Outlet Sport, you know, when asked to comment on his future. Roberto's renewal has been a topic of constant discussion over the past few months in Barcelona. Despite the player publicly announcing his desire to stay at the club, various hurdles popped up during the negotiations. The biggest of these obstacles were the disagreement on the extent of a wage cut. The player was ready to take a slash in salary, however, he felt that the proposed cut was too high. Meanwhile, the sensations you know, at Barcelona were different. They felt the third captain was earning too much for a bench role, you know, for his not guaranteed starter in the current side. So, with reports of stalled contract talks, rumors of interest in the midfielder began to emerge. The biggest name linked to the La Masia graduate was Manchester City. Pep Guardiola is said to be a fan of the player's versatility and its yard was speculated as his next destination. However, things seem to have changed now. As his words indicate, an agreement between the player and the club is not too far away. The deal is on the fringes and should be completed in the coming days. Despite not being a starter, Roberto's ability to play any position is of immense value to the side. With regards to this, the player said, I will not stop fighting. So what remains to be seen, however, is the extent of pay cut that is agreed upon. If in the first team, the situation at Barcelona was calamitous, then in the women's team, it's nothing but bliss. The treble winners backed every single individual award in the UEFA Awards this year. They are set for another swoop during the second edition of the Women's Ballon d'Or by France Football. In the 30 woman list for the 2021 Ballon d'Or, there are five players from FC Barcelona. Goalkeeper Sandra Panos, you know, had her best season yet both domestically and internationally, considering less than 15 goals in last year's league title run. Her heroics were essential in the Catalan's win against PSG in the semi finals and kept a clean sheet as Barca trounced Chelsea four goals to nil in the finals of the UEFA Women's Champions League. Then, as for Irene Paredes, you know, she had a phenomenal year with Paris Saint Germain. Thanks to her, the Parisians were able to claim the long lost division's feminine title from former treble winners Lyon. She made her move to Barcelona's cap um, Barcelona this summer, you know, and has been spotless this campaign. Lieke Martens is familiar with the big stages, you know. She was on the podium in the UEFA Women's Player of the Year this year and even won it back in 2017. Her dribbling and pristine finishing gave her team Siva where they do daily long for, scoring in the semi-final and final to grab her side their maiden Champions League title. Of course, Yeni Hermoso has been in the limelight for years. In Europe, few, you know, encapsulate the role of a false nine with as much efficiency as she does. Her proficiency in front of goal has shot Barcelona another league title with yet another Pichichi for her name. You know, in addition, she comes into this awards as the UEFA Forward of the Year. Finally, you know, Captain Alexia Putellas, the queen of the Estadio Joan Cruyff, her brilliance has been on offer for years and she is now shining in the limelight. She won both midfielder and player of the year in UEFA's award this year and the odds are firmly in her favor to win the Ballon d'Or this year. There is little in the way of, his, of this happening, you know, as even this season she is among Europe's finest. 
a happy day for us the Bastona family so guys with that we come to an end of this episode thanks so much for watching hope you did enjoy the video if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure to subscribe turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever i post a video until next time bye bye